Hey guys, this is Jake from Memory Lane Comics coming at you. I have got a review of the all new, all different, uncanny Inhumans number one from Charles Sewell, Steve McDivitt from Marvel. Now, something just, it gets really wordy with this stuff, but it's kind of crazy. This is basically the new X Men from Marvel Universe. They're going through, this is this is the outcasts, these are the people that are trying to figure out their way in the world. New Inhumans are being born every single day, and this is how the people are dealing with them. It's uh, very different from how we've seen the Inhumans for the past, what, 50 years, I guess, they've been around. Uh, we got an introduction of Beast into the Inhuman fold, and as well as the Human Torch, so we're seeing how they kind of play off of each other. This comic starts off with Black Bolt and his crew going and checking out for their son that we saw in Inc Uncanny Inhumans number zero forever ago. Uh, they're searching for him, end up in a confrontation with Kang, and you see them going to the old Attilan. It's really cool, you get to see a little bit of history of the Inhuman stuff, you get to see where the plot's going for as far as Black Bolt's concerned. Concern. And you see Medusa basically being uh, a Fantasy Four X-Men type member who's saving people. People don't understand what they're doing, but she's also getting a very publicly uh, adored. And it's been kind of cool to see that. And then you're seeing the split between those two. I couldn't be more excited for where this series is going. It's got Steve McNiven on the artwork, which, I mean, I've, I've adored since Civil War. It's got Charles Sewell writing it. This guy is absolutely ridiculously incredible. I think it's going to be a really good one to keep up with.